Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, I have the greatest respect for him for many reasons. The greatest fear in those times for rich people was kidnapping. And you know, when we were young, we were always told by our servants to tell them where we are in case you get kidnapped. So the best thing Mr. Lee Kuan Yew did was introduce hanging for kidnappers. With that, we all felt so relieved and we never ever lived in fear again. The next greatest thing he did was introduce hanging for drug addicts. Because I, in my lifetime, I have seen so many people, including some of our friends, who have children and they are plagued by drug addiction. He saw Singapore as a big mess and he wanted to clean it. He saw people's lives which were not so good and he wanted to improve it. I admire his guts and his courage that made it possible for him and a group of people for him to motivate, to see what he saw and what they all collectively pulled their energy together and achieved. He was a dictator. Of course he had to be. Look at Singapore. We are a very diversified society. People of all races, all religions, all forms of thinking, right? How do you get people to gel together if you are not a dictator? You have to do what you have to do. You have to put the rules and regulations down and sometimes you've got to be quite cruel. To achieve the objectives, he had to crack the whip. But perhaps we should just rewrite history to include the good, the bad and the ugly of the great Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. People must understand, a great person has good things about him, bad things about him and ugly things about him. If you're only good, you would be God, but he was just Lee Kuan Yew. I respect the man. Your views are very welcome. Tell me about it at happytv.com slash gentlewarrior. Hit the subscribe button and I will love you forever.